Hey, this is Justin, you're watching wingsound.com. All right, so you have your finished track and you wanna bounce it. I'm gonna show you the different options that you have. You have AIF, MP3, Wave. I'm gonna show you how to bounce the disc and get your song ready for whatever format you're trying to reproduce your track at. Check it out. Okay, so to get to the bounce to disc window, you go to file, bounce to disc, or option command B, and it brings up that win the bounce window. Now, since I don't have anything selected, it's gonna bounce all my tracks the whole way through. So if you wanna bounce your whole song, do that. If you wanna do a selection, just highlight and bounce to disc, and it'll just do that highlighted area. Okay, so. So when we bring up the bounce to disc window, we have the bounce source. So whatever your source is of where you're bouncing from, from your interface, if you have multiple outputs or something, and you have a better clock on one and you want to bounce it through that one you choose it there you have your file type sd2 wave aif f mp3 quicktime choose whatever file for whatever you're going to use it for the format now stereo interleaved creates a stereo file left and right channel interleaved together Multi multiple mono creates two files one left and one right mono and then we have mono summed and this just sums your mix mix to mono sums the left and right channel to mono you have your bit depth so if you're doing it for a cd or itunes or something like that choose 16 bit and also the sample rate and 44.1k if you're going to do it for itunes or something like that and then you have your conversion options Convert during bounce or convert after bounce. Convert after bounce is better, less problems happen in the conversion. And then all you gotta do is hit bounce and, and then you choose which area you're gonna save it. Usually it defaults to your audio file inside your session folder, but I'm choosing the desktop here. I'm gonna name this mix one. And what it does when it bounces, it bounces in real time. It plays the whole song through because if you have any outboard effects you need to bounce that stuff in real time so that's why it does that okay so there you go bounced and converted it and here it is on my desktop my mix one aif you can always get in touch with Justin at Winksound.com and check out more of Justin's videos including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8 now available on demand at Winksound.com.